Azerbaijan can become a bridge not only between Europe and Asia, but also between the European Union and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Dragan Filipovic, head of the Council of Europe's office in Baku, made a statement at the presentation of the mid-term report on the projects envisaged for the countries of the Eastern Partnership, in particular for Azerbaijan. EU Ambassador to Azerbaijan Melina Mart in turn highlighted a good level of partnership between the EU and Azerbaijan. The diplomats said the sides will share their experiences as part of the project. Cost of the projects funded by the Council of Europe and the EU is 4.7 million US dollars. This is important that all parties work together to achieve better results, she added. After the speech, Malina Mart informed journalists about the three sessions of subcommittees on trade and economy issues held between Azerbaijan and the EU so far. Regarding the new legal framework of negotiations between the EU and Azerbaijan on strategic cooperation, Mrs. Mott said a decision of all the EU member countries is expected for that, and then negotiations will begin in the near future. I think today shows that there is a need for us to discuss the possibility of a new legal framework. As you know, the discussions is ongoing in Brussels and uh, we hope of course that there will be a decision for member states so that we can uh, start uh, our new uh, negotiations soon but discussion is still ongoing in Brussels between mem with member states. The EU and Azerbaijan are maintaining relations under the Partnership and Cooperation Agreement, which was signed in 1996 and came to force in 1999. Since then, the PCA has provided the legal framework for EU-Azerbaijan bilateral relations in the areas of political dialogue, trade, investment, economic, legislative and cultural cooperation. Azerbaijan is also included in the EU program on Eastern Partnership, adopted on the initiative of Poland and Sweden, and approved at the EU summit in Brussels in 2008.